look at this. Isn't that the... Uh, Maggie. The... Coming in as bold as brass. I never thought we'd see her again in Glasgow. Well, what's her skipper's name? McTaggart. Uh -huh. Isn't he the one that caused all that trouble in the Kyles? No. Well, they're asking for it this time. Mr. McGregor, I'm still the master of this vessel and I know what I'm about. If you had to come to Glasgow, could you not at least have waited till after it was done? We've nothing to fear from any man or woman either. We'll only be here long enough to find ourselves a cargo and then we'll be off again. If Sarah or anyone else is watching for us, they'll be watching by night. Ah. You'd never expect us to have the front rate to put in by day. Sarah. When you're finished with the lamps ready, will you grease the wire blocks? Aye. And there's four buttons missing on my other shirt. Aye. McTaggart. He's away to Pollock Shaw's for his mother's funeral. He'll not be back for a fortnight. We'll wait. Not a word. <laughs> oh, aye. You're very smug with your gold braid and your pensions and your five days a week. But you're no better than hirelings, standing like we bairns there in front of Mr. Campbell's big desk down yonder. You haven't the freedom of operations that I have. You haven't the dignity of your own command. And that's from a boat. There's not a finer vessel in the coastal trade. There's not a finer vessel anywhere. There's, there's... There's two men aboard us, in bowler hats. The spectres. Ah! <laughs> 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 